Hi, this is Anfisa Alon, and this video will be about EORM and ILM peeling under perfluorocarbon. First case is a patient with rheumatogenous retinal detachment. After proper core and peripheral vitrectomy, the ILM was stained, as you can see here, and the attempt to peel the ILM without perfluorocarbon was done, but uh, the retina was really mobile. Therefore, perfluorocarbon was injected. And another attempt to peel the ILM was done. As you can see, perfluorocarbon stabilized the posterior pole, which allowed easy grasping of the ILM. The second case is complicated rheumatogenous retinal detachment associated with the macular hole and ERM. Full core and peripheral vitrectomy with the dentation were done, especially in the area of peripheral tear, to remove any traction on the retina. Then ERM and ILM were stained with dual peel dye. Also in this case, first was attempt to peel the membranes without stabilization of the pastoral pole with perfluorocarbon, carbon. But ERM was very adherent and the retina was mobile, which preclude proper grasping of the membrane. Perfluorocarbon carbon was injected till the proper cover of the macular area. Attempt to peel the membranes under the perfluorocarbon carbon was much more successful because the retina was less mobile. While using perfluorocarbon, carbon, we always afraid that some of the fluid will get under the retina. But once all the tractions on the retina were removed, retina flattened well and you do not pull the retina forward during the peeling, the probability of perfluorocarbon carbon to get under the retina is really low, even in the case of retinal detachment associated with macular hole. We invite you to visit our retinacoach.net website where you can share the ideas for the next videos and also your surgical techniques and experience. Thank you for your attention.